Hello and welcome to episode 36 of my Everspace 2 playthrough. The astute among you may notice some differences. One, I'm not in the same location. Two, this is not the ship I was in previously. Three, I didn't have half a million in credits. And four, I wasn't level 30. I've been busy. Um, we have basically got everything to the point where we've either done everything we need to or we have everything to finish them off. Um, for example, we have all the challenges bar the final master in these three, so we'll get those done today. Um, we have... I come over to Renowned. Enough Renowned that a couple more quests should get us to Legend. Uh, we have... we won't see them here. I have bought one of each tier of ship. That is, I have a light, a medium and a heavy ship. This is the medium ship I'm going with. Um, it's the Striker. Uh, we've not shown it on game before, but we'll show it quickly because I definitely like this out of all three of the um, medium-sized ships. I have tier 3 plus of the light and heavy ships that I prefer. And touch wood, we're going to be buying at least one tier 4 ship today, hence the bank balance. Um, anything else? I think that covers it. So first things first, we should have everything we need to finish off all of our perks. So let's get the last two of them. Fully upgrade all companions perks. Okay, that's the lot of them. We also got access to our final set of um, personal perks. These are all kind of cool. Um, I'm going with destroy an enemy with a critical hit causes their energy core to discharge and deal damage equivalent to a, um, a reasonable amount of their health in a large radius. That radius is significant. Um, I've gone with that just because this ship at the minute has like 3,000. Yeah, 3,000 precision. So my base crit is 23, so I've stacked them all up. And as I have alluded to before, my favourite ship is in fact the Vanguard, and its passive is critical rear attacks. So I get the feeling that that's going to be pretty ludicrously powerful, uh, but we will find out. Anyway, we need to get a couple of jobs done. Thankfully we have two relatively quick ones here that we can just queue up. I'm hoping this will be enough. That bar looks like it's going to fill. Uh, so we will get them done first, and then we'll get the challenges done. Um, speaking of, we should get one thing ready. If we want to get the Outlaw challenge done, which we may as well be doing now. We're going to need a Railgun. Railgun has a nice long range, but there's nothing stopping us. I'm giving it a little bit more. Um, select. Install Catalyst. Marksman should be range. Yep. Craft missing components. Craft and install. Okay. Let's replace the laser with it for now. It's only a temporary upgrade for this ship. It doesn't make sense to actually have a um, railgun on this ship uh, because it's special is close combat, which makes me more dangerous if I'm up close and personal with other ships. Although I really think like, the ranges like these should be higher. 500 meters really is not a lot, particularly given the fact that our speed, um, or our base speed in this ship is like 300. Yeah, 350-ish is our base speed, so we clear that in less than two seconds. Okay, we need to get these done. While we are flying our way over here, um, I did check. Um, there is a the sum total of 29 side quests in this game, and we have completed 27 of them. Two of them we still have active. One of them is the Spatial Bypass, and the other is the Races. Now, I think I've done all but one race. Time to get rid of these mines. Oh, excellent, there is one. Good shot. Okay, 
need that thing to be over 3,000 meters away. Bingo! Good. I was worried that when I completed Outlaws, it might start giving me um, quests for some of the other types of enemies, but no, thankfully not. Okay, let's replace that weapon. It is not handy on this ship. Let's put that one back on. Come on, button. Right, um, minefields, we want that. About 3,000. All right, I don't see any more mines. It's settled. Okay, good. Okay, one down, one to go. Uh, today's episode is probably going to be on the shorter side as we just got a handful of little things to do here and there. I'm not going to leave it all in travel time between locations. I'll cut that stuff like that out. Just the one here. Looks like it. So one of the reasons I like this ship as the medium ship is partly because of its maneuverability and partly because of how much boost power it has. That is, it's passive. Um, it enhances and boost speed. But it does mean that it can dodge really, really well. Okay, so we need to get these back to base. The ultimate on this ship is called Quantum Tether, and what it does is it tethers to your currently targeted ship uh, and then links to up to five ships afterwards. The amount of damage done to each ship is increased by the total number of ships tethered, uh, and it has some other special abilities that I forget offhand. Is that enough? The achievement says yes. Although it's not showing yet. Um, yeah. Turns the target into a tether that anchors and connects um, them to up to five surrounding enemies who will also receive all damage applied to the target. Uh, damage increases by 5% for each tether. So you can very quickly get rid of a or a reasonable group of enemies by tethering something big and heavy um, and then just piling damage into it. Hello, this Nefty Station. You're speaking to Nefty Station? Job's complete. Good. I want my payment. Signature's fine. Here you go. Okay, so that should be all of these. Now, I deliberately haven't been collecting these um, for a very simple reason. Um, these are um, Starforged um, superior components, and I wanted them at level 30. So, let's collect them. Um, as it happens, I did end up looking it up. Um, what's it called? You can get, or there's an end game part of this um, game, which we'll get to if we have time next week. Um, so next week we're going to be worrying about finishing off the main story quest. Uh, I'm not going to try and just do it all in one go. We'll try and split it out over the week. Um, if it ends up that we finish it in the first two days, then we'll have a look at the end game on Friday. That'll be the plan. But you can get your legendaries at max level from um, the end game stuff. So that's how you actually improve them. You just reacquire them at a higher level. Uh, 
let's keep those. Hmm. 3% chance for each shot to increase. No, that's worthless. If that had a better thing on it, then I probably would have kept it. Anyway, this stuff may, depending on its stats, Okay, at least that one's decent. This one's bad because we've lost two slots of um, stat improvements or tractor beam range, which is worthless. It's an absolutely worthless thing. It doesn't take long just to get that little bit closer to pick things up. That does double the range, but I would much rather it be 500 in another stat. Uh, an additional speed on a light ship that this thing would be equipped to, which is not helpful. What I might do is I might throw this on the bomber. Um, missiles only deal half of their energy damage to the shield. That is kind of good. I think that might work well on my um, small ship. Anyway, let's go. Now that we have this done, uh, let's just get rid of that. Fetch our small ship because we're going to be finishing the game off in it. Um, so I need to head back to base. We're going to equip it with what we can, or what we have, that makes sense to put on it. And anything we have left after that, we will um, craft, craft rare variants. And we're doing that specifically so that we can get um, modules that have good secondary effects on them and good stats or it's like double stat lines and then we will upgrade those to superior once we have a pair of or a set of ones that we actually need so let's take this and throw all of that into storage do i want to we got a new one of these didn't we i think we put that on the bomber Okay, so obviously we've decided that Striker is our medium ship of choice. The Bomber is most definitely our heavy ship of choice. Nothing can beat blowing up an entire base with um, its ultimate. Uh, we decided that additional speed, dismantle quality, I'm going to keep that. We're going to put this on the bomber. Oh, we actually have another one of these. Let's swap that into the bomber's cargo hold. Swap that one in. Add in storage for now. Uh, anything else? Nope, that's going on. That's going on. I think we'll put this on the bomber just for the additional speed. We probably won't see the bomber get any use, but nonetheless. Base plating. We've got some good plating for the new one, so let's upgrade this to the next tier of rarity and equip that on. Let's mantle that. Okay. Let me just make sure I didn't leave, yeah, I didn't leave um, the mainframe modules. Okay, so we got a nice little disintegrator prototype laser for this ship. Probably going to be our primary weapon. It's also, uh, I've also configured it um, for mining boost. We want to equip that. We want to equip that. 
That one's good. Hmm. This is going to be a, a short range ship. Or close range ship. It's Star Forged. Increases damage against armor, cannot be damaged. That one's worthless. I wish it didn't have that. 20% damage if your ship is in exposed to starlight is not all that good in the grand scheme of things. Most of the time you probably are going to be, but there's going to be instances when you're not. I'd rather just have a flat 10% increase all the time. Disintegrator laser is going to do a lot of heavy lifting. This one is likewise, the boosts on it are not particularly useful, but it's a prototype, which means it already has higher damage. We're never going to encounter anything that has a higher level than us, so that is just straight up 30% wasted. Increases damage if your ship is exposed to sunlight, which again is situational, it's not that great. But in absence of having anything else, it'll do for now. Right, let's modify these up. Nice. Cannot be damaged. That's three semi-useless boosts. Nonetheless, it's still going to do a lot of damage, so we can't complain. Did we not bring a power system with us? Not one that we can use. Fair enough. I might bring this just in case we need to swap over to something that does a lot of damage against armor. Yeah, I think we'll keep that on us. Is there a way that I can lock this? Level, rarity. Span view, sort in. Yeah. I'd like to be able to lock it so I can't accidentally sell it. Let's move that to there. We want to bring one of these over to here. And damage booster or cloak. It's a light ship, so I think a cloak is probably better for us. Let's put a cloak on. Right. So we need another secondary. We need an energy core. We need sensors, and we need a cargo unit. What's secondary to get? I mean, just getting a straight-up homing missile may be the way to go. Either homing missile or corrosion mines for the AoE effects. Let's go home in missile. Go with the classic. What stats we got here? Can I be intercepted? 20% chance to disable the target shields. That's not bad. It could be better, but that's not bad. We'll keep that one for now. We'll see if we can get a better one in the next two attempts. Block duration decreased. Actually, that one's better. 30% damage for each second the missile flies. I think we'll keep that one. I think that is our homing missile. Okay, so modules, we need an energy core. Give us a... Give us a pair of stats. I think... Yeah, no, we need to make a cargo unit first. Good, we can keep that one. We were dismantling them and not getting the things back from them. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Uh, dismantle that. Dismantle that. 
output at stop. Give us two stats. Thank you. I don't really care what the stats are, I just want two stats. Nope. Excellent, that'll do. Nothing special about these, but we will upgrade them nonetheless. Cruise booster. Let's do this through the crafting menu so that things aren't unnecessarily obfuscated. Select. Hmm. Odd. We should be able to. Rarity of given item can increase the rarity of superior legendary. Can increase the rarity of a crassive item. Oh, that's bollocks. You mean I have to waste my crafting materials trying to get a decent superior? I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Fine, if that's what it wants us to do. No. Because we only get one back for each attempt. No. Definitely not. Absolutely not. Uh, firepower and structure. We'll probably replace it later. But we'll keep it for now just that so we have something in that slot. Better! Much better. Keep that. How about you? Nope. Okay, fine. You can have that for now. Um, secondary weapons. So let's make a replacement one of these. What have we got? On primary critical hit? Yes, absolutely. Cannot be intercepted. That'll do perfectly. I will take that. Okay. Let's recycle that, recycle that, recycle that, recycle that. We could try to roll a few more times on these. What? We have lost a decent amount of precision, I think. We've gained in firepower, but we've lost in precision. Although we haven't lost that much in terms of... Um, Actual critical hit chance and damage. Oh, I forgot we haven't got these equipped yet. Let's get this set up. Um, Energize boost goes first. Then... Corrosion injection, there it is. Annihilate the virus. Then... EMP generator and then nanotransmitter. I think that's the right order. We'll have to head outside and double check. Make sure they are in the right order. Okay, this ship is ready. Let's go see if we can't. ourselves a tier 4 ship. So I believe I'm working off a guess here that getting getting this perk to Maxman, Tureen convinces Kato to offer top tier ships for sale at Kato's Palace. I'm assuming that means we can buy tier 4 ships at Kato's Palace. 
whether or not we have enough money to, I don't know. Basically, the ships would have to be worth a million or more than a million for us to be unable to afford one of them. So we'll see. And while we are airborne, let's test to make sure that that ability is correctly bound. Good. That is the right order. Which means that one is... Yes. Okay. homing missiles on our weapon, secondary weapon. Gets Kato Palace. Let's see, shall we? Am I right? Yeah. Very nice. And they are worth about a million, so I am glad I did put Pepper, Pepper as much money as we did. We can only upgrade one of them, or one of our ships. So what's our extra passives? Reduces web effects, supports, uh, up to 20% support device cooldown reduction depending on overcharge percentage. Flying close behind an enemy increases weapon damage. And the alternate. Time extender immediately restores all weapon and boost energy. I think you get that either way. The only one that changes is the first one. Reduced web effect or can activate cruise drive even with enemies nearby. Doesn't make that much of a difference. I think reduced web effect is probably the better option. I don't think any of these are getting a new coat of paint as such. Okay, let's get our tier 4 vanguard. Uh, let's check the passive is correct. Yep. Purchase the vanguard. Top tier by a tier 4 ship. My ride situation just improved drastically. Might you not be a little too overpowered with this? Nah. Possibly. We're already four levels ahead in the main quest. Okay. Um, we got... Oh, yeah, it was one more passive was the thing that he gave us. Assume everything is correct. Let's customize. Let me quickly set everything back up. Okay, the wings are unique. They are slightly different. This is a tier 4 set of wings. I don't uh, is that the Rio I like? That's the one I don't like. I think that's the one I prefer. And I think that is the right front of the ship as well. Okay, ship is ready. So, uh, as I was saying, we've done 27 of the... Um, or 27 out of 28 side quests. This one, I'm not sure where it's expecting me to go. Um, maybe it's bugged. This one, I'm fairly sure we're on our last race, so we'll go and do that now. 
And because I've been doing most of those off camera, I will very briefly tell you about the story of Maurice. So, Maurice used to play a game, uh, a video game, um, that he got very invested in, but eventually got banned. Um, he was so invested that he was determined to become the top uh, of the leaderboard, the best in the game, and he succeeded, he made it there. But then some bugger by the name of Ross Adamski came to his kingdom and pillaged it. This enraged him so much that he swore vengeance, quite literally. He sent out a real-life hit squad on this Ross Adamski, and the, um, the admin of the game found out about this and then banned his account and deleted everything. I don't think Adam Rosslin has let him know that he was probably the person he sent the hit squad out on. But that is that. I think this is the last one. It's the only one I, or the only side quest location I can still see uh, on the map as not being touched yet. realize this particular laser had a charge time. Hopefully that's not going to cause a problem. Right. Let's see if this is the last one. Ah, Adam, you have returned for another race. Yes, I have, but um, before we do any racing, I'm still trying to put together the pieces of your story. You wish me to revisit the most terrible chapter in my life? It's good to talk about it. Might help you come to terms with it a little more. D'accord. There I was. Banned for eternity from the game which had been my passion for so long. I was in a terrible place. I was lost. Perdu. Go on. I had a hole in me where gaming used to be. And to try fill it? I resorted to desperate levels. I rented myself out to robot tossing contests, android death karaoke. I debased myself no end. Well, that must have been a real low point. Sorry to hear it, Maurice. That doesn't sound like it's done, but it may finish off um, after we finish this race. We'll see. I will show my first attempt and then whatever attempt I get platinum on. The infinite madman is on his way to possible victory! Ah. I think I missed one. And that is why that level 30 perk is awesome. <laughs> Everything just disappeared. Okay, let's um, do some clearing out on the inside here. So it went through here. Up again. Do I have to bridge the gap between the two of them? Hmm. And we pass through here. I 
I'm not sure where the rest of that was. Okay, let's give this one more try. One more accurately, let me show you my last attempt, whether or not this is this. Don't know. Anyway, race here is done. Um, and implies there is one more elk somewhere else. Go to Vesna Mining Colony. No! We can't. We can't finish that one. At least. We're not going to be able to do it till we've beaten the game. Apparently here. Oh wait, we've got the wrong one sec. There we go. Okay, so we don't have a target anymore. Oh, planet is in the way. Let's leave and see if we get contacted. Okay, it may be that it wants us to get, um, platinum on all of them. We're not going to bother doing anything like that. Or it may be that because I think, or they may stay there until, um, we have access to this. This system here is either going to be end game stuff or it's going to be part of, um, the next section of the main quest that we're coming up to. Anyway, the next things we've got is we have a couple more challenges that we need to finish. Namely, we have to fly close to two suns. And then I think that's all the boxes ticked. I'm, I wonder. Let me just have a quick look, quick look at something. Overcharged shield, star forged. Recharge delay, shutdown delay. It would have been better if this was. And it's going to be very hard to find it because it'd be a very, very specific thing. Um, but a speedster shield for this ship, since this ship increases its um, shield in past 100% by boosting, which is why I took the cruise booster, because it can boost for longer. Anyway, we have two systems that we need to get close to the sun. return to using jump gates jump gates where we're going we don't need jump gates okay and 
nowhere. Very close to the sun. It might be the plane that we're on. Let's back off. make sure that we're approaching the sun directly from the side. This close to the other ones. Okay. One more. At least one more that we have access to currently. This one is theoretically even more dangerous. Well, we can't just teleport next to it. We have to get to the get that the edge. That is amazing. So far as a recently evolved primate mind can experience it, I suppose. Okay, so this should be the last box to tick. Where's the nearest thing to the sun? These two sectors right close to the sun are interesting, although I'm not entirely sure whether or not I like them, so I'm quite glad they only use it twice. Basically, there's a blast wave permanently coming from the sun uh, in this and the outer flare zone. And you have to hide behind asteroids and things, or you run the risk of your ship, um, or your ship takes constant damage and you then start taking radiation damage if you don't get out too quick enough. challenges. Okay. We are done with all our backtracking and little bits and pieces that we wanted to get done. So we'll leave it there for this today and this week and we will promise that from next week onwards it's going to be nothing but main quest because I get the feeling we're not going to have any choice in that particular matter. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show and hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheerio.